respected Father Jackson, sisters, teachers, and all my dear students. Good afternoon to all of you. Can you wish me back? Thank you. You're not learning still. On this uh, last day of uh, your school year, I have nothing much to say. Because all that was needed to be said, I already said, not today, but all these years. The assemblies you had, the class assemblies you presented, all the motivational things the principal said after each assembly, the teachers spoke to you, the speeches that you listened, the skits that were presented value-based, the classes that you had all through all these years. And all the motivational things that you listened and heard all these years, I think they are enough. I think they are enough. So I don't need to say anything today, especially to you. And that's why I said I have nothing much to say today. Because if all those things didn't matter to you, what will this speech matter to you? If all those good things that you listened, if all those value-based activities that you had didn't matter to you, then what will this last, last speech of mine will matter to you? So what I'm going to say is, if you have not picked up any value from here, then no use of saying that I am an Anselmite. As the head girl in the speech said, being an Anselmite is a feeling. It's a feeling. And the feeling comes from the goodness that is there within you. The goodness that is there within you. I am sure all these years there will not be any student sitting here who has not made any mistake. I am sure there isn't any teacher sitting here who hasn't made a mistake. Nobody is perfect. I am sure there has been, hasn't been a principal who has not made a mistake, including me. So that what I mean to say is, nobody is perfect. Not even Anselmus is perfect. You will think of many other great schools, that there, is, uh, there are many schools in the city also, which you would think maybe a better one than the Anselmus. But no matter where you are, whatever great institution you belong to. But if, as an individual, you have not picked up a value, then what is the use of calling yourself an Ansel Mind or calling yourself an Indian or calling yourself anything for that matter? So today is the time also to retrospect, to look behind, look back and see, on this last day of mine in this Anselm school, what am I proud to say? For each one to think, what am I proud to say of today as I am going out of uh, this institution? What is the good thing that I have learned? Because all that you have achieved, if it is without the values, then it is useless. All that you have achieved should be a striving in righteousness. If you have not done it, then it is useless. So I am not uh, uh, telling you that you are bad. Neither I am telling you that you are good. All of, our, all of you must have made mistakes. But that is not the end. But that is not the end. From here, I am sure all of you will go to another institution. All of you will go to another institution. So learn from the mistakes that you have done. If you, were, you have uh, scribbled on the desks and benches and spoiled the uh, things over the over here, you, will have, you are given another chance. You are given another chance in another institution. Don't repeat that mistake. If you have disrespected 
the teachers, no problem. They will forget it, they will forgive you. But don't make the same mistake elsewhere. So life is a learning. As I told you, life is a learning, so it is never ending. I was so much inspired. It's a platform for learning for each of us till the end of our life. I was speaking about the inspiration that I had. One father came into my house here, stayed with us, with Father Jackson and myself for about 10 days. And he came, he is 82 years old, barely able to walk. We asked him, what brought you here? He said, I am enrolling myself to do PhD. I wanted to laugh. I thought, PhD takes about three, uh, three years, four years time to complete. Would he survive? That's what I thought. Would he survive? What he said is, maybe he must have read my mind. He said, don't worry if I don't survive till that time, by the time I receive that Pagadi Kodi school, that camp, no? that camp. But I want to die as a learner, as a student, as I, I want to die as a student with all my incomplete works on my desk, with all my incomplete works on my desk. So don't think once you have finished 12th, it's done. It is not done, my dear boys and girls. It is not done. It is just a beginning. It is just a beginning. We have not given you enough, I know. We have not given you enough, our teachers, the faculty, the students, the principals, all the management. We have not given you enough. We have not given you enough. We know that. And there is much more to be gained. And that's why you are, we are sending you out. That's why we are sending you out with best wishes and prayers. With best wishes and prayers for each one of you. Remember or think about the seeds that are produced year after year. Seeds that are produced year after year on each tree. How many of those seeds get an opportunity to grow up and to become a tree? If a real calculation is being done, not even one percent. It is point zero 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 percent maybe. If all those seeds were to get chance to grow, I don't think there would be enough space for us to move around. No, there would not be space enough. That means you are those one of the seeds which has got an opportunity to be planted, to be planted. And I think the teachers over here have taken the task to plant, to water, and I think you must have sprouted already. I won't say that you have grown to a plant or grown up to be a big tree. No, at least you have sprouted. And in that, all the teachers, all the staff over here have played a big role in uh, planting you and then watering you, nurturing you, maybe pruning you, cutting certain things. Without pruning, the trees don't grow well. And I'm sure each tree feels pain when it is cut and pruned, each tree feels pain. But the pruner knows it is for the good of the plant. And the pruner knows it is for the good of the plant to yield the right fruit and much fruit, and right fruit and the much fruit. And that's why if the teacher scolded you, if they punished you, if they said anything wrong to you, if they have made you stand outside the class, if they have even given you a slap, don't take the grudge when you go outside this institution, out of the gate when you go, don't take the grudge in your hearts and minds. Because I am sure none of the teachers sitting here have anything against you. They have in nothing against you, my dear boys and girls. So when you go from here, go out of the gate, be happy. And not only forget and forgive the teachers, but also maybe your own friends. Your own friends, you may have had good fights. Isn't it? Even yesterday, there was 
kind of alteration what I learned among the 12 those who came yesterday or before yesterday. And this year, I have two years of the year. Don't worry, no problem. One who has done it, be forgiven. One who one whose uh, scooty span was punctured, just give it. Are you able to? My dear boy, are you able to? Just forget it. I'm asking you, I don't know, I don't know, I don't remember your name. Are you able to? No. Just forget it. You know who is it? Anyway, I'm not asking you to take it. But this is an example I took. I just, I just took it as an example. Okay, my dear. So, forget that. That may be the last thing that you had as a negative experience in classrooms. So, forget it. And it is for each one of you. It is for each one of you. If you have ever had any negative experience from this institution, from any one of us, from the staff or the management, just forget it. Because we never had any bad intention. We never had any bad intention for any one of you. And therefore, so when we are sending you out into the world, we wish, we wish all the good things for you. We wish all the good things for you. So whenever the ex ancestor might come here and they tell me, oh, we graduated from here in so and so year, I feel happy. I feel happy, no matter what they are doing. No matter what they are doing in life. But the fact that they belonged here at one time gives me joy. And I am sure each teacher, each uh, member of the, uh, of the staff feels joy when someone comes back. So what I mean to say is, please come back. Please come back one day or the other and meet your teachers and maybe the principal and not be there, someone else may be there. But even that person will feel that you are part of his life because he belongs to Anselms and you belong to Anselms. Okay, later you may be able to say, I also belong to that great institution. I also belong to that. Okay, all that is fine. But you, maybe if you uh, have started your schooling here, or maybe elsewhere also, but the initial work of planting and uh, watering is done by these uh, worthy teachers of uh, institutions, maybe, maybe elsewhere also, because a few of you must have uh, come here in class 11th or maybe in other some classes in higher classes but it is as uh, the teachers the staff who have worked hard so every ending is a new beginning as you are can read over there every ending has a new beginning goodbye and good luck and that is we wish for you and thank you very much and uh, have a wonderful day uh, i'm thankful to each one of you especially the ones who have presented the program and of all those who have wished you good luck, all the 12th class students who have performed, performed on the stage, you also worked hard to do it. And it was a wonderful day. We are all running short of the time. And uh, the lunch is waiting for you. And you have, can have all the fun and frolic. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Good luck and God bless each one of you.